and I am married to Josephine Kalioki. Uh, together we are blessed with four children between the ages of 15 and 9. And um, before this opportunity, I was teaching in high school. I'm a teacher of physics and mathematics. I've been taught for the Teacher Service Commission of Kenya in a school in Nairobi uh, called Kidorai Week Secondary School. That, is, that was my last session. I was employed by TSC. And um, my husband was teaching in the university as a lecturer at Catholic University of East Africa before we got to know about this opportunity. So those are two professionals, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yes, and there's money coming at the end of the month as salary. But guess what? It was never enough. And I remember being uh, from a large family myself and I needed to take care of uh, even my siblings and my parents who, are, who have never had a job, take my siblings to school. I found, we found ourselves always broke. And really it gave me a lot of stress because as you grow up and you go to school, I remember I was able to get a job immediately after university. But every other time I, I was complaining. My, my mama, my mama who was very sick at that time, used to call me and tell me, can't you even send something for Panadol for me? And you can imagine you are having a salary, you cannot even support your parents. It can be so embarrassing. So I used to be stressed a lot. And um, I remember I got an issue with my health. I actually did a lot. You know, there are those people, when they are stressed, wanna ponder. But there are those people when they are stressed, they, I belong to that category. So if you see me hard weight, maybe I have stress. But I, um, so I really got stressed, my weight went up, and I was, um, it affected my self-esteem because at the age of 27, I looked 50. You know, weight can make you look so like old. So um, somebody heard about it. That is my brother, you know, who was um, working in the army, to be specific, Kahawa Barracks. And he came to my house. I was living in Kahawa Medani Estate along Thika Road. So he came to my house, visited me, and uh, uh, because he was already a member of New Life, and he actually targeted me, PROs, because of the products. So after explaining about the products, it, and uh, we were seated together with Joshua, he joined us later. I, I picked on the health part and I decided I wanted to try the Neolife products, the wonderful uh, Neolife products, especially for weight management. At the same time, Joshua decided to join for money. So you can be two people seated, but you join for different things, isn't it? But guess what? The benefits are the same. I was so glad to realize that I can partner with my husband to do the business and we become partners and all the benefits that New Life is giving is going to come up for both of us. So that was on the 17th of July 2010. This year I will be celebrating exactly 14 years in this opportunity. Um, So that day is a very great day for me. Every 17th of July, I always celebrate. I even forget to celebrate my birthday most of the time, but this one I can never because they say that the two greatest days in a man's life, the first one is the day you are born, and the other one is the day you knew why you were born. And on 17th of July 2010, that is when I knew why I was born. So both of us with my husband, we decided to uh, partner with New Life, with very little knowledge, personally, I could not even speak to anyone. I could not do anything. You know, sometimes people think that teachers know how to talk. We only know how to talk to children, not to adults. So you can imagine, I had to undergo training. But of course, I first started by trying the products, and I saw myself getting into shape and coming back with my self-esteem, and I really thank God for that. So today, 14 years down the line, I have a long story to tell because when we started, we were able to start earning money through the, this opportunity. Just being trained, the first month I didn't even sponsor. The second month I did, I actually just like sponsored one person. So even as you see me as uh, sponsoring as many as number one, it is not that I knew I learned. And if you are, um, if you want to um, know anything, you have to learn. 
So I've been under uh, the leadership of my uplines, teaching me on how I can be able to sponsor. And I thank God because I've been very teachable. So um, I've been able to get all the benefits. I can talk about health because I've been able to lose weight and get back into shape. Money has also been able to come. And I remember within my first three months, together with my husband, we made our step to direct. And I remember the bonus that we got was um, 22,406 Kenya shillings. Guess what? That was slightly more than my net salary. So you can imagine how my pace looked like. I was so excited and we decided to double our efforts. And in seven months, we stepped up to Sapphire Directors. And of course, what we did was to help more people and to engage in getting leaders in our team. So seven months, we went to Sapphire Director and we got a bonus of 60446 and I remember when we joined the business, we used to hear people are going to Cape Town, Cape Town, Cape Town, Cape Town. And we also sang the tune of Cape Town. And we decided to work it out. So we, we were told that if you step up to World Team, we are going to join the uh, leadership conference or the World Team conference in Cape Town. And so when we stepped up to Sapphire Director, we were invited to go to Cape Town, South Africa. And I remember, you know, I did not even have a passport. The teachers need a passport. TSC, I need a passport. I did not even have a passport, but I had to go to my home county, get a birth certificate, process my passport, and there we were with my husband. First time in a plane, I was so scared. But I thank God, because we were able to go to Cape Town, South Africa, we enjoyed ourselves, and we met big leaders, leaders who have done so much in this opportunity. People who are talking about 30 years of success in your life, 35 years, 20 years, and I was like, wow. That time we didn't have anything much to show. But when we came to Kenya, by the way, if you go to those lifestyle events, you'll meet great leaders, people who have something of substance to tell you. And I tell you, when I came back, my mindset was fully changed. And I went straight to the TSC and I wrote a resignation letter. Of course, I was so scared, like any other person. But today, I still congratulate myself. Every other time, I congratulate myself and proud of myself because I decided to quit my job so that I can take care of my family as well as I do this business full time. And uh, that was not the end because we went to Cape Town, we came back. And after five months, we stepped down to one movie director. And that time, when you become a movie director, you are hosted in a great place. That is the um, St. John's Sun Hotel in Johannesburg. So once again, we were given an invitation. We went to St. John's Sun Hotel with my husband, spent our full four days, and came back to Kenya. What an opportunity. Of course, when you go, you come back with fire and you want to do the business. So, so far we have traveled to so many destinations, just to, but to name a few. We've been to Zambia, Victoria Falls. We've been to South Africa, still um, at the palace of the lost city actually three times. Um, Santos and Hotel, we've been there, there five times. We, were, we, were, we have been to South Africa, George and Ireland in the middle of the Indian Ocean. We've been to Dubai. I remember the first time when we went to Dubai, we slept at a very wonderful hotel called Grand Hyatt. Then after we stepped up again, we were taken back to the Atlantis, the Palm Dubai. Oh my God. You don't know that life. And imagine coming from a teacher to such a lifestyle whereby every year you are going somewhere out of the country. And for our guests, all these trips, you don't pay anything. The company pays for you. Isn't that exciting? Yes. So we also been to Abu Dhabi twice. And the most exciting thing, by the way, after that, most of the time we've been traveling with our team members. So Abu Dhabi, we've been there twice. We were able to, uh, I just, okay, there were some slides, I think. So 
Yeah, so that is some of the part of my success story that is me and my husband. Uh, today we live in our own home in Nairobi. That is our family, by the way. And we really thank God for this opportunity. So those are some of the pictures you can see. Sun City, South Africa, that was 2013. 2014, we were in Dubai. Um, and I remember when we went to Dubai, we had just stepped up and we got up. An incentive, that is what exactly what um, Fred Garcia was telling us. We got an incentive, we came back home with an incentive of 5,000 US dollars. If the dollar was where it is right now, how much is that? Oh my God, that is good money. And uh, we've been to Obai, Georgia, South Africa, we've been to Ferrari World, right? And I remember we have gone with some of the leaders in this group today that we are here together. We really enjoyed this lifestyle. That is Abu Dhabi in 2017. And we visited the biggest mosque in the world, Sheikh Said Grand Mosque. Where this mosque, you know, when we were asking them, they were like, this, the mosque is so beautiful. I will never forget what I was told by those guys. They said that, you see this mosque here, every year, they always coat it, like painting, coat it with gold. And by the time we were there, in 2017, they had spent 13 trillion Kenyan shillings on that mosque. What is the budget for Kenya? Can you imagine? Like four times what has been spent on this mosque. So I love this opportunity because in your life you are taken to the best places in the world. You can see there when the company was celebrating 60 years. Our guests, can you imagine a company we celebrated 60 years in 2018. And guess what? We had the privilege, Joshua and myself, to be hosted in Mexico, Los Cabos. I will never forget that flight. And we had, when we had dinner, we sat with Jerry and Susan Brasfield. Can you imagine? When you sit with billionaires, who will be next? When you sit with complainers, who will be next? Please take care of who you say about. And you know what? When you become part of this opportunity, you grow up to one team member, you are going to enjoy all these things plus. Even meet people who are very uh, successful. So that was, we were staying in a motel. I'll never forget the name. It was called Secrets La Puencho. The hotel was for adults only. We were, it was so exciting. We enjoyed ourselves. And actually, Mexico is 22 hours away from Kenya. It was so exciting. And I will never forget also that I remember when we were flying from, uh, we flew from Kenya to Amsterdam, Nairobi to Amsterdam, from Amsterdam to Mexico City is 12 hours. 12 good hours in the flight. I met a lady who was sitting next to me, Joseph was on this side, the lady was on this other side. And the lady, at some point, she started becoming unconscious. Just in the flight. And um, I was so shocked. Then the, those guys came and helped, helped her. And after she came back, she gave uh, consciousness. I, I, I asked her, what's the problem? She told me, she's, she's a teacher, she was also an English teacher in Mexico. And she told me, Pia was, um, of course she had now known my name, I introduced myself. So she told me, I am a chain smoker. I've been smoking since I was born. And my children smoke, she has two children, the husband is a bad smoker, and um, she, the husband already had lung cancer. And I took her contact, I went to the lifestyle, we came back, we started communicating. And I started, she started the new life opportunity. Can you imagine? Now she's a member in Mexico and she's using our products and I'm so grateful to God for that. So that was when the company was celebrating 60 years. 2019, we were again back in Abu Dhabi, and I know some of the leaders who are here can also remember that, um, that, uh, that trip. And there's so much to eat. And guess what, guys? Um, in two months' time, is it even two months? It's less than two months. Yes, around two months' time. Most of the leaders you've seen here, including myself and my husband, will be on our flight to Mauritius. For me and Joshua, it will be our third time in Mauritius. Isn't that exciting? Mm -hmm. And just to tell you that 
Now, for both of us, we are full time in the business, running this business. It has grown all over the world, and we thank God for that. I ask myself, where are the teachers? Walimu wanaenda wapi next? Me, I know I'm going to Mauritius, and all of us, we can do this business. You could be here in Mauritius, you don't see them know how to get there, you are a guest, but you can do this business. And also fly with us in the next flight. Nanya Nasema, the next one, I'm not going to be left behind. Wow, God has in the hands, and I hope you will not be left behind. So, I am so grateful. If I can do it, I think everyone can do it better than me. As I come to an end, I want to take this opportunity to welcome a great person, a great leader, someone who has been able to mentor most of us who you will see around here. And 